Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Bauman. New at six, the Georgia ports appears to be quite healthy, but it needs to continue to grow to seize new opportunities as well as revenue. That's the word today from Savannah officials, state and local politicians, and members of the maritime community. This all coming from today's 2023 Savannah State of the Port. WTUC anchor Madeline Hunt was there and gives us a closer look at what's in store for the future. The Georgia Ports Authority President Griff Lynch giving his state of the ports address, emphasizing that the Georgia ports need to be all in in the community to transform the ports from a southeast gateway to a national one. One of our state's most important economic engines. Growth was a focus Thursday at the 2023 Savannah State of the Ports address. We have the single largest robo facility, robo and robo facility in the nation. State and local politicians joined Georgia port leaders to tout the port's $1.9 billion investments to the terminals, rail system, and the container yard support. Berth, Berth 1 is open now. We've built it for these bigger ships that I've just described. Ocean terminal is going to be the same. Those are the two key projects. One is done, and then it, they're all important. The rail, we picked the three most important. The berth, the rail, the yard support. And we see this as an opportunity that uh, will continue to move Georgia forward and every county in Georgia forward because this port affects every county in Georgia. For the fiscal year 2023, the GPA says it handled 5.4 million containers. The agency predicts a 4 to 6 percent growth in the next few years. We know that the future is bright for Savannah and Georgia Port Authority wants to be there right alongside our community, make sure we grow the same pace. But with more growth comes more cargo and bigger ships. The GPA says it's working with GDOT on a plan to raise the Talmadge Bridge to accommodate larger ships on the Savannah River. It is expected that this will begin this time next year and be completed by the end of 2026. The impact, they say, will be a big boost to business in Savannah. We have ships today that want to come here today. We don't have to get to 22,000s that cannot fit under the bridge. And we have had to turn that business away and tell our customers we can't do it. They had to replace the cables anyway, so they're going to use new technology to raise it. But to maintain Georgia's strategic status in the market, president of the Georgia Port Authority, Griff Lynch, says the GPA must capitalize on three shifts happening in the shipping industry. Number one, more people are moving to the southeast. Two, manufacturing is exploding in the southeast, especially in Georgia. And three, cargo is shifting away from China and into Southeast Asia and India. Those are the types of things that will make us a national gateway. We have to stay all in and continue to stay on course and on track with our investments. And that's what we're communicating today. When asked if Savannah would ever become the biggest port in the country, Lynch says that's not his primary goal. He says he's focused on providing the best service to customers and the surrounding community. Reporting from the Convention Center in Savannah, I'm Madeline Hunt, WTOC News. Hey, give me a live look now outside from our Q.